One of the landmarks in Frederick County is the 100-foot cross that was erected on the property of Open Door Baptist Church in Clearbrook, Virginia. Every day, thousands of people driving by on Interstate 81 are able to view this monument to Jesus Christ. At night, it is lit and can be seen miles away. At the base of the cross are memorial bricks placed in memory of friends and loved ones. For just $100, you may purchase one of these bricks with a personal inscription and it will become a permanent part of Open Door Baptist Church. For an additional $50, we will give you a second brick with the same inscription that you may keep for yourself. The proceeds from all bricks sold go to help the building fund of Open Door Baptist Church. Hello, my name's Tommy Hall. I'm one of the directors of Open Door Baptist Church. In 2003, our preacher retired and uh, said he was going back to West Virginia to live and just enjoy his life. Well, in the next few months, I searched around and I wasn't happy with, uh, there was some good churches, but not what I wanted. I was used to preaching out of the Bible and I mean really preaching God's word. I have grandchildren, children, and I wanted them in a good church. So a bunch of us got together and uh, talked to the preacher and he said, nah, I'm too old to come back. And I said, no, preacher. He said, well, I can't keep you from praying. I said, we'll pray about it. So we did, and uh, finally the preacher come and said, you all find a place and we'll be, have a church. But he said, I'm gonna tell you one thing, it's gonna be the hardest thing you ever done in your life to start a church. And I said, yeah, I, I figured it'd be easy, man. All you gotta do is get a building. And uh, anyway, we found Candy Hill Campground where Carl, uh, Carl uh, Littman and his wife Selena have, and they let us have it, let us have a free charge to, to uh, start the church. And we had no bathroom, no running water, no heat, we had nothing, and but we started the church and a lot of people came and one of the guys in the church gave us eight acres of ground on, on 81. That's where I'm sitting right now, on the eight acres. But the catch to it, the, it was landlocked, had no right of way to it. P people said, well, what do you want that for? Oh, we said, we'll just trust God because God will God'll look out for us and God will. Uh, not long, I mean, we, we kept having church and uh, had 15 acres beside us, so we bought that, made us 23 acres, and they said, man, you're getting crazier all the time. You're getting more land and it don't even have a right of way to it. So we said, God will provide. So we, we had church there at uh, Candy Hill for quite a few years, and finally we found an another place a little better, and uh, we moved over there. And if I was to sit here and tell you I didn't get disgusted in them years, I'd have to be lying, because I did. I got, the devil got in my head a couple times and said, Tom, you, you, why are y'all doing that? But I just, I come right back and I said, I put my, all my faith in God, and I do. And anyway, we got a right away, a temporary. By, me, while we had the temporary right away, we put up a 100 foot cross, the one's in back of me right now. And I've had a lot of people tell me how, what a blessing that was. And after we got the cross up, we was fooling around trying to get the right away to put the water and sewer in for the, to get the temporary right away to keep it, well, we lost it. And then people said that we didn't have the sewer and water in. We went ahead and put that in. People said, I know you're crazy now. And we said, well, God will provide. But in uh, 2012, God got us a right away. We now have a right away and we're trying to build a church. But uh, we've spent a lot of money. We're up against it. We need donations. All you people that has told me what this cross means to you, now's the chance for you to have a little part in it. If you got such a blessing from it, we could use any amount of money you would want to give us as a donation. It's all tax deductible, and every penny will be used for the Word of God. And I got one more thing I want to tell you about salvation. This church, you'll never come to this church that you won't hear the Word of God preached, and you will never go away without knowing how to be saved. I saw a sign the other day that said people that say they're going to get uh, saved in the 11th hour, a lot of them dies about 1030. So think about that. Now I thank you very much and any amount you want to give us will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Hi, my name is Barbara Whitaker and I'm a member here at the Open Doors Baptist Church. Uh, God is good. Amen. Uh, you just heard from one of the members here, Tom Hall, and he was giving you the history and background on the Open Doors Baptist Church, how we have came up to this point. Uh, we're getting ready at this time to uh, start digging the foundations for our church. 
and we uh, behind me you will see a large 100 foot cross that cross is a symbol of what Christ died for us now we're at the point of we are getting ready to build this church and we're asking today for any and everyone out there that's listening to make donations whatever you can give will be appreciated a dime a nickel up to a dollar and therefore on you can this blessing that you're giving will save a life be given to Christ and he will get the glory if we do not get this church built soon we're losing out time is running out on us if we can put one life and save one life for the Lord Jesus Christ all of the glory will be his and that's what the whole thing is about is glorifying our Lord Jesus Christ I'm asking you to please put what you can and send it in as soon as possible. Thank you. My name is Ken Smith. I'm honored to be senior pastor of Open Door Baptist Church and to be able to share my testimony with you. 1965, I met the Lord Jesus Christ, surrendered my life to be his servant. In 1972, God called my wife Bonnie Lou and I to Winchester where we started the Rosedale Baptist Church. After 31 years of very fruitful ministry, God called us to begin the Open Door Baptist Church where we could continue to preach the unsearchable riches of the Lord Jesus Christ through the power of His Word. I'm 75 years old and I would sure like to see a church building on this property where our people could continue to worship and meet and uh, serve Him till He comes back or until He calls me home. Uh, if you could send us an offering of any sort, it would be greatly appreciated. May the Lord bless you. We thank you. That is my prayer for you. Hello, folks. My name is Tony Overball. I'm a deacon here at Open Door Baptist Church, and I'm standing here on the church property where we're trying to build a building. And what we're asking for is a little bit of help. We really need some help to get this project done. We have 23 prime acres right off of Interstate 81, and um, we have plenty of level ground, a place to build a nice building. We have a, a lake, it's about an acre and a half. When it's completed, it's gonna be a great place that will go right in along with our children's camp that we're gonna build over on the backside of the, the 23 acres. And we'll have a swimming area and we'll have a, a nice area and with some help, we can get it done. Thank you. <laughs> 